I feel like most of us have at least one friend that we got to prep other people before they meet him. Okay, so Thurgood's coming over later, uh, two things. Call him Brick, or otherwise he's not going to answer, and don't ever look him in the eyes, like, ever. I wonder how many people I'm that friend to. Like, how many people before I show up are like, all right, so, like, the homie Nate going to gonna come over, and, like, he cool, but, like, there's some shit going on. What type of shit you talk? Like, physical shit or, like, psychological shit? Little call me, little call me. But we gonna focus on the physical right now because that's the first shit you gonna see. First thing, don't look directly in his eyes. Why not? Is he crazy or something? No, it's just you. If you do, you'll pass out. Like it's uh, all right. He is a black albino, but don't ask him why his eyes aren't red, or he's gonna he's gonna blame me for that. Why his eyes aren't red? Do people actually ask him that? Yeah, like enough people that it makes him judge educational systems. Damn, dude, Americans stupid. Oh, it's not just Americans. Anyway, uh, his parents are both black, so don't ask him for, like, proof. Dude, I wouldn't ask nobody for, like, proof about that. That's crazy. Do people actually ask him shit like that? Yeah, all the time. It just makes things more confused. Why does it make him more confused? Because <sighs> his parents are white. But I thought you said... I know what I said, okay? Just let me finish. He was adopted by a white family at birth, all right? All right, all right. Okay, so now let's get to the psychological shit. Oh, th there's more. Oh, so much more. So much more. So first of all, if he's fidgeting, not making eye contact, turning around in circles, anything movement wise, he's paying attention to what you're saying. Don't worry. The f Also, if at any point in the night he says we need to leave, we need to leave. What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, what do you have, spidey sense or something? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. If it seems like he's having a really good time and then all of a sudden he just leaves, that's not you. Trust me. Topics to stay away from unless you want to have an eight hour conversation in which you're not going to be able to talk a lot. Movies of any type, specifically comedy or action, sitcoms, Disney, Harry Potter, just stay away. Here are a few topics that you can talk about that if you know anything about, you can talk for eight hours and he will sit there and listen. Space, neuropsychology or biology. If you speak a foreign language, it's like catnip to him. Just talk in that language. Oh, does he like know a lot about neurobiology or, or does he speak like another language? No. Okay, so final thing. Do not ask him under any circumstances if he is allowed to say the N-word. He's black, right? Yeah, but it's insane how often he gets this question. What's he going to do? Is he going like, to hit me or something? Very unlikely. In fact, he'll probably ignore the question and just keep on with the conversation. Good to know. However, asking him this question is kind of like you saying you don't believe he's black and then demanding that he prove it. So while he might not hit you, you are now dumb forever for him. There's a lot of rules, bro. So many rules. He's such a weird dude. So why do y'all even hang out with him? Because he was the first person to tell me if you take the bottom off a cupcake and put it on top, it's a cupcake sandwich. We've been friends for life. We're, that's, we're us now. Yeah, that tracks. Follow me on YouTube and come to my show April 7th in New Orleans. Ah!